to chill and watch TV and today I'm back with an anime review. This time we have Blue Exorcist season one and two. So let's get started. So Blue Exorcist was a show that I started watching episode by episode um, as a reaction video. That's when I realized this show was more of a starter anime instead of like a watch and pay attention and we're sneaking things in sort of anime um you could probably pick season one up in episode six episode eight and be able to figure out quickly probably what is going on this is not an anime where you needed to have watched from the beginning it's not really that hard to figure out what is going on very simple so that's why I said very good starter anime for anybody who might not really be into anime all the way yet or still kind of questioning if this is your bag. This might be a good one to start with. There's no weirdness. We don't have too many strange magical talking characters or anything like that. Like it's not that hard to wrap your head around this show. So season one and two of Blue Exorcist are available on Hulu. That is how I saw them. I did see the dubbed versions. So let's get into it. So season one came out in 2011. So this is a pretty old anime, I guess, in relation to some stuff that may be out now, but still pretty good. Um, so season one, our main character is Ren and up until when we meet him, Ren's life has been relatively normal. Uh, his dad is a priest, his brother is quiet, and he gets into trouble often. And then we have the Night of the Blue Knight. And after this is when we realize Ren is not as normal as we originally thought. He is the son of Satan. Yes, we went straight there. No, he's not just the son of a regular demon. Can't be doing that. We got to give him top level alpha demon. Yo, daddy is Satan. He also has a twin brother, Yukio. Not as interesting, but not as boring as he makes us think he is for probably the first half of season one. Uh, Yukio has his own set of secrets and set of demons that he needs to figure out, which he does kind of in the background. But when it does come out, he makes a statement. Just keep that in mind. So the whole premise of season one is basically Ren figuring out, yes, he is the son of Satan and trying to figure out, okay, what does this mean for me now? His mission in life is to become an exorcist like his dad and kill the devil. That's it. That, that's what motivates him throughout the entirety of the show. He wants to become an exorcist and kill the devil. And along the way, he tries to make some friends. Um, Ren is not one of those characters that really tries to give the hard exterior but he does try to make it seem like things don't bother him he makes it seem like he's okay being a loner but i don't feel like we took it to like an extreme level but he really does want friends like um he wants to be a little more accepted and admired like his brother and we see him in season one basically trying to navigate that as well as his powers as well as protecting people and learning how to care about people outside of his immediate family. Now, if you're a person who kind of likes the fight scenes and the blood and gore that is included in some animes, this might not be the show for you to check out. Um, while there are fights, I won't call them battles, they're far from that, but while there are fights included in this show, um, it's between exorcists and demons, so it pretty much ends in a poof. 
not a lot of blood or gore in this anime at all but the fight scenes are still pretty mm, i'd say decent <laughs> what's still a major part in all of this. So season one of the anime is extremely slow. While it does have its good points, I took major breaks um, when it came to season one of this series. But I stuck it out and I'm glad that I did because season two did make it a little bit more worth it. So season two came out in 2017, still called Blue Exorcist, but the Kyoto Saga. The only thing that annoyed me when it came to season two is the fact that the major problem of Ren being accepted that seemed to be the central message of season one restarted when it came to season two. Like things happened at the end of season one that made me think like, okay, they see he has powers, they see he's not dangerous, all of this is to protect them, we should be okay now. And then season two starts and it's like, I was absolutely wrong. Like, nope, all the trust that we might have built has been broken and Ren is gonna have to start all the way back from the beginning and do this all over again. And while that is a big part of season two, I'm glad that they didn't make that the big theme of it. Um, the theme of season two is actually Ren just learning how to control his powers enough to actually be helpful to the people that he's trying to protect so yeah that's kind of like the main theme of this show like i said i wouldn't recommend this to anybody who probably has been watching anime for a while but for somebody interested in possibly getting into the anime community this is a uh, definitely a show that i would recommend it's very cute. You don't have to think about it too much. It's not something where you have to constantly be looking for things that might pop up later. It's just a very in your face, we're gonna give you this show exactly how it is, anime. Like I said, season one, 
starts off really good and then kind of drags but if you can hold it out to season two i do think that it's worth it um it ends in a way where there could possibly be a season three but when i looked it up as of right now it has not been confirmed as being renewed um the fact that we went from 2011 to 2017 before season two was released should let you know kind of how the season one was taken and the fact that we're in January of 2021 right now doesn't give me a lot of hope that a season three would come but I would really enjoy one if at all possible so yeah that's my quick little summary of Blue Exorcist don't have a lot to say because it's not that deep very simple show very cute show standard drawing style um standard storyline and plot our loner main character needs to figure himself out to protect himself and his friends and along the way we learn a couple backstories about some of the friends but once again it doesn't it doesn't go that deep maybe if we do get extra seasons we can explore um some more like the sideline characters a little more a few of them are kind of interesting but yeah overall rating for the show if i had to give one would probably be a c very average anime um i probably would not watch season one and two again but something i would definitely re recommend to somebody that is newly expressing interest into anime so if you guys have seen this anime and you agree with me or if you've seen it and feel like i just didn't appreciate it enough please let me know what i missed down below I'd love to hear your opinions. Um, I do want to start some new animes, check out some more stuff as far as what's out there. So if you have any recommendations, also drop those down below. And if you like my videos, please feel free to like and subscribe and come back and watch me watch more things. All right, so I guess I'll see you guys later. Bye.